Hello everyone. In this practical class, we'll try to learn how to determine the blood group. There are more than 200 antigens, blood group antigens, and more than 30 blood groups have been identified till now. These blood groups have been uh, divided into two major categories, major blood groups and minor blood groups. Major blood groups are ABO and RH uh, and minor blood groups are many like MN system, Lutheran, Duffy, uh, Kell and many other. The major blood groups, they will have a strong antigen antibody reaction and hence they are going to lead to fatal consequences whereas minor blood groups uh, they will not have such an effect. In this particular class we will try to uh, determine the blood groups the, of ABO system and RH system. The principle here is a commercially available known antiserums containing antibodies are mixed with red cell suspension of an individual and presence or absence of agglutination is observed. Agglutination with an antiserum that containing antibodies indicates presence of agglutinogen on RBC surface corresponding to that antiserum and hence the blood group. So blood group system uh, it is based on the Lanstenius law. Lanstenius law says that if an agglutinogen that is antigen is present on RBCs the corresponding agglutin that is antibody must be absent in the plasma. The second law states that if an agglutinogen or antigen is absent on the RBCs, the corresponding agglutinin or antibody must be present in the plasma. The first law is applicable to all the blood groups that is both ABO and RH blood group system. But the second part is not necessarily always true for uh, RH blood groups. So here uh, the, the antigens and antibodies of uh, ABO blood group system. Okay, So if you see in a blood group A, so they have antigen A and antibodies against B. Whereas in blood group B they have uh, antigens on antigens uh, B on their RBC membrane they have antibodies uh, against uh, antigen A in the serum whereas in blood group B so they possess both the antigen A and B and they do not have any antibodies whereas blood group O uh, or the RBC membranes there are no antigens but they possess both the antibodies for antigen A and antigen B that is anti A and anti B. For determination, for de determination of the blood group the apparatus and reagents required are anti-sera A, anti-sera B, anti-sera D, normal saline, pipettes, porcelain tiles and uh, with a depression microscope to confirm agglutination if there is any doubt. Procedure is a red cell suspension in 0.9% and sodium chloride is prepared in a porcelain tile that is one drop of blood plus 2 to 2 to 3 ml of normal saline is added. Using separate pipettes, take one drop of anti sera A, one drop of anti sera B, and uh, anti D is taken into different cavities of porcelain tile or in a slide. To each of these cavities, add a drop of red cell suspension and mix it well. Observe the agglutination or clumping. The absence of agglutination is confirmed by microscope determination of blood group uh, from the following table. If there is agglutination with anti sera A and there is no agglutination with anti B and there is agglutination with anti D so then that blood group is called as A positive. If there is no agglutination with anti sera A but there is a agglutination with anti B and anti D so then it is called as B positive. If agglutination occurs in all the three antisera, so then that blood group is AB positive. If agglutination occurs uh, with none of the antisera, then that blood group is O negative. Okay, so this is how blood group is 
determined based on the agglutination. So again, uh, in the blood group A, you have antigen A and antibody B. Uh, with the blood group B, you have antigen B, anti uh, C, antibody against A. Then in the AB blood group, you have both the antigens but no antibodies. But in O blood group system, you do not have any antigens but you have both the antibodies. So then it has to be uh, reported in the following format. That is my blood group is uh, A positive or A negative depending on the agglutination. So normally during blood transfusion, uh, the O blood group uh, can receive the blood from all other blood groups. Like he can receive blood from A, B, A, B or O. Whereas uh, AB blood group is called as uh, universal recipient that he can receive blood group from O, AB, uh, B or A. Okay, So that is why blood group uh, o is called as universal donor and uh, AB is called as universal recipient. Okay, So as we know that uh, the RH antigens are also uh, comes under the major blood group system and they can lead to strong antigen antibody reaction. Uh, the RH antigens they are uh, not naturally occurring anti uh, they do not possess naturally occurring antibodies. When the first time RH antigen they are introduced into the body, subsequently they are going to produce antibodies. And when second time RH positive antigen is introduced, so there can be uh, RH incompatibility. Okay. So similar uh, RH incompatibility occurs during pregnancy if a mother is RH negative and the born child is RH positive. Okay. So if the first uh, born baby is RH positive, uh, during pregnancy nothing will happen to the baby because there are no uh, antibodies formed still. But during the parturition, uh, some of the blood group uh, mixes with the maternal blood and in the maternal, uh, when the blood enters into the maternal circulation, they are going to develop the antibodies against these RH antigens. During second pregnancy, if again the RH positive baby is born, so then there are chances that these antibodies, they can cross the placenta because they are IgG type and readily crosses the placental barrier. They can act on the RBCs. Uh, membrane to cause antigen antibody reaction and uh, there it leads to hemolysis and it will be responsible for uh, the hemolytic newborn disease that is you know, the born baby uh, will be having uh, RH inca incompatibility with uh, anemia and jaundice. So when uh, during uh, blood transfusion if when the uh, the blood group is matched but still the cross matching is done uh, to look for any uh, presence of uh, uh, minor uh, blood group system okay so for which the major cross matching and minor cross matching are done okay so in major cross matching donors uh, rbcs are matched with patients uh, serum Whereas in minor cross-matching patients, uh, RBCs are matched with donor's serum. Okay. So, so this can prevent uh, some of the antigen antibody reaction that could occur because of the uh, minor blood group systems. So this is another example of cross-matching. Okay. Uh, in... Um, Major cross matching, the donor's RBCs are matched with uh, recipient's serum, whereas in minor cross matching, uh, the the recipient's uh, RBCs are matched with donor's serum. Okay. 
so so when transfusion reaction occurs i mean if uh, the incompatible blood is transfused so there can be antigen antibody reaction it will lead to hemolysis anemia and jaundice okay so initially there can be shivering and fever that is fibra reactions uh, which is very commonly seen because of the liberation of the toxic substances because of the hemolysis okay, so there can be hemoglobinuria the released hemoglobin can be lost through the kidneys it can lead to hemoglobinemia so then obviously there can be hemolytic jaundice and there can be acute renal failure acute renal failure mainly occurs because of the hemoglobin cast blocking the renal tubules and damaging the tubules or it can be because of the release of toxic substances from the lysed red cells that cause renal vasoconstriction and eventually it is going to lead to circulatory shock hyperkalemia is usually occurs because of the release of potassium ions uh, from red cells so this may cause cardiac arrest in diastole so there can be some uh, uh, adverse reaction occurs because of the faulty techniques while giving the blood due to wrong method of transfusion uh, the following complications may arise so first one is thrombophlebitis this is a common complication in those who receive repeated transfusion and there can be air embolism air enters uh, the venous circulation and gets lodged at the outlet of the right ventricle and blocks the flow of the blood to the lungs death may occur in severe cases the use of plastic bags has reduced this complication so this is regarding how the blood group is determined and some of the complications of uh, rh incompatibility or uh, abo incompatibility thank you